All right, let's talk Georgia Bulldogs. This is a team that's had obviously an outstanding offseason. Of course, they had a number of great players leave to the National Football League. They've added a lot of great guys as well. We're seeing a lot of good news coming out of spring ball. This team is building momentum as we're getting ready for the 2024 regular season. But like all great programs, Georgia is keeping its eye not just on the short term, but on the long term as well. And that, of course, involves the recruiting game. And that leads us directly into this latest news involving Georgia. Let's pull up the report and then we'll talk about it more in detail on the other side. This is courtesy of 24 7 sports for the second year in a row georgia is feasting in the garden state the bulldogs have added darren i can i apologize if i mispronounced that to the 2025 class the number one ranked recruit in new jersey the second straight year they've accomplished that feat i can committed to georgia on saturday at the spring game he told dogs 24 7 other programs who are high on i bond's list ohio state oklahoma notre dame and others some big names there I came to Bong ranks as the number one player in the state of New Jersey, listed as a number 12 defensive lineman in the 24 7 sports rankings. Look, this is obviously yet another big move uh, from Georgia, not only getting an out of state guy, not only getting a New Jersey guy, but beating out some of their top competition. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first, Georgia fans, in the comment section below, look, we talk about the spring ball phase getting wrapped up we're looking now towards the 2024 season but give us the guy that you've seen or heard coming from spring practice that you think really has a chance to break out this season in the comment section below give us your breakout georgia bulldog star really curious what you guys have to say but my give me your thoughts on this latest another huge just recruiting win for this georgia program yeah Nick, i think this is big for georgia especially this season to get some more depth and get him into this defensive line locker room or you know outside linebacker if they decide to play him there as well i think that this is good because georgia always has a lot of top tier guys going to the draft but this year a lot of their best defensive linemen haven't quite yet left the first defensive lineman i think we see going in you know maybe the early like around two pick 286 somewhere like that is where they're projected so i think there's a lot of great talent still left on this georgia defensive line and having uh, Darren come in here out of the state of New Jersey, which once again, they got the top player out of, which I think is also very, very good. They're able to stretch out and get some of the top players from up north. Shows that they're going to bring this guy in. I think he's going to be able to learn a lot from the previous players there and get into this team very early on. Obviously, he's a 2025 guy, so he won't be here till next year. But I think this is just a really strong move by Georgia to show they go up north get one of the best players out of the state of New Jersey, bring him over to Georgia, and get to it. And also, I really like this guy because it shows he's got great determination because he's also a wrestler. I think, you know, wrestling is a very good tool for uh, uh, bigger guys, especially offensive, defensive linemen uh, that play football, and get them on the wrestling mat. It allows them to use their body more. They get more adept at using leverage, I think, in the power rush or whatever kind of finesse moves they're trying to work in the pass rush as well. So I think that's a benefit here. We're going to see a lot of body control out of a guy like Ekinenbog. Like I said, you said, could have butchered his name there. I apologize for that. But I think Georgia's just showing they are continuing to dominate in the recruiting game. It doesn't matter who. It doesn't matter where. They're able to come in and get anyone from anywhere and be dominant doing it. Well, especially this is a kid. I think it's it's relatively early, obviously. We're talking 2025 class, and he's a very highly rated guy. I think what's all said and done, he's going to be one of the top recruits of his class because if if you look at him for a few seconds, right, he's listed at 6'5", 250-ish, really long, really athletic. He's one of these weird players that I wouldn't be surprised, depending on what direction he goes, he could end up being 6'5", 280 and be a relatively lean 280, or he could say 6'5", 250 and be like an edge, you know, edge pass rusher kind of guy. Maybe he could lean up and maybe be more of a standard outside linebacker. I mean, this kid has so much athleticism. I think a more of a traditional defensive end just kind of makes sense. But the word on him across the board is that he is one incredibly good football player, but because of his athletic skill set, he is scheme versatile. He's basically just a guy that's just insert for instant defensive power. And that's exactly what he's going to be for the Georgia Bulldogs. And one of the, you know, one of the disappointments, I'll say it like that, for Georgia at the end of the 2024, 2023 season when they lost to Alabama. And you kind of alluded to the fact they don't have the same number of draft picks going into this year's draft as they've had in years past on the defensive line. They got beat up a little bit by Alabama in the SEC championship game. Let's be totally honest about that. And that shouldn't happen. Georgia, defensive line-wise, that's always been the strength of their team the past three or four years or so. So getting back to that level, getting back to that 
elite unstoppable defensive wall to lead your defense is exactly what Georgia needs for the long-term success of this new dynasty Kirby Smart is setting up. So again, obviously, I think this is a scheme versatile guy who could be a bunch of things. But overall, it's clear the mindset from Kirby Smart is that, listen, what happened in the SEC championship game in Atlanta against the Tide, we got to do whatever we can to make sure that doesn't happen again, whether it's in 2024 or with this recruit, 2025, 26, 27, and so on. And that's why I love the approach from Georgia, making sure, hey, we got to get our front seven, our front four back to where they were before. And this is a kid right here out of New Jersey who can help them get there.